Hi guys, welcome! In this video, we'll explain in detail the mechanics of the new Wasteland gameplay map and the new growth system Yggdrasil Spirit Tree. This newly implemented system removed the job EXP grinding aspect of the fourth job and replaced it with a new item called Hourglass or Time Quicksand. Furthermore, the Spirit Tree grants players with bonus attributes which help farm materials more efficiently. Alright, without further ado, let's begin. Wasteland map is currently divided into two. First is the main wasteland map which you can enter via South Portal from Flower Street. And the other one is the Moonlight Grotto map which you can enter via the South Portal from Wasteland. In the future, there will be more wasteland maps added in the game. As a tip, you can tap on these symbols on the mini-map to quickly go to other areas. Wasteland and Moonlight Grotto are filled with normal and elite monsters which are mutated versions of mobs in Midgard. You can kill these monsters to get the upgrade materials for the Yggdrasil Spirit Tree. Take note that the wasteland materials are non-tradable and cannot be deposited in the shared storage, so you really need to farm these materials using your main character. Next, let's discuss the Yggdrasil Spirit Tree system located in this portion of the wasteland map. To unlock the Spirit Tree, you need to first finish the Wasteland Guiding Quest, Changes Outside the City. You need to be of base level 100 to accept this quest. This means it's not mandatory to change in the fourth job to unlock this new growth system. Just follow the quest to grow your spirit tree. This quest consists of four phases and will take around two hours to finish. You may opt to do the first phase only if you just want to unlock the spirit tree. However, you still need to finish all the phases to get the pet Cherry Snow Spirit and 2000 Hourglass. The Spirit Tree interface is divided into three tabs. Yggdrasil Spirit tab for unlocking nodes, Blueprint Overview tab for crafting strange treasures, an attribute overview for a summary of all unlock attributes. The Yggdrasil Spirit Tree consists of six branches, each with six different nodes that you can unlock to get various attributes and effects. As an example, this node here will increase your physical and magic damage by 25% in Wasteland. In order to unlock a node, you need to use a certain amount of Wasteland materials. Now which nodes do you need to prioritize? The answer is that it depends on what you want to focus on. Is it getting hourglass, increasing EXP, or improving DPS? If you already changed into fourth job, then the most recommended nodes to unlock first are the ones in the red circles as they increase the hourglass rewards from daily adventure tasks which we'll talk about later. Initially, you can only get 500 hourglass from daily adventure tasks. However, unlocking all the nodes in red circles will increase the reward by 300% so you'll be able to get up to 2,000 Hourglass rewards daily. After that, the nodes in blue circles can be upgraded to level 3 to get the extra amount of wasteland materials while farming. The more materials you earn daily, the faster you can level up your spirit tree. And lastly, if you have excess materials, you can exchange them for Hourglass via the Ancient Furnace node. You can get free Hourglass in exchange for one maple colored agate, one Hourglass in exchange for one dust in wilderness, and one Hourglass in exchange for 10 ancient remains. Just be reminded that there will be a new Yggdrasil spirit tree in the future which will use the same materials for upgrading. If you still need to level up your job EXP to change into fourth job, then you should prioritize unlocking the rapid growth node up to level 3 before proceeding to the Hourglass nodes. This significantly increases the job and base EXP gained when killing monsters in Wasteland. And lastly, if you find it difficult to kill normal and elite monsters in Wasteland, then you may prioritize the nodes in yellow circles before proceeding to the Hourglass nodes. These are the nodes that give Wasteland exclusive attributes that will help you in farming such as damage increase, cooldown and castle reduction, and movement speed boost. Now take note that this is only a suggestion. Feel free to unlock nodes depending on the needs of your character. Also, don't worry if you feel that your progress is slow. As you unlock more and more nodes, your growth rate will speed up exponentially. Usually, you can unlock all nodes in the spirit tree within a month of grinding in Wasteland. 
Up next, let's discuss the various ways of getting our glass and the materials needed to unlock Yggdrasil Spirit Nodes. First up, we have Normal Monster Farming. All the normal monsters in Wasteland and Moonlight Grotto drop Zenny, cards of the regular version monster, and upgrade materials of the Spirit Tree. Usually, you can get around 1,000 ancient remains from normal monsters when grinding daily with 240 minutes of green combat time. They also drop dust in wilderness and maple-colored agate but are quite uncommon. There are lots of good farming spots in Wasteland as the monsters spawn quite fast and close together. The only problem is that elite and boss monsters may also spawn near you which can kill you while you're AFK, so it would be good to have an Abun or a Cyrus pet for their resurrection skill. If you want peace of mind, I suggest farming in Moonlight Grotto as there is no mini and MVP that spawn here. The only monster that you need to be cautious of is Elite Maya which usually spawns in this location. Second, we have doing the daily adventure tasks which are indicated in your quest tab with blue header. You'll get 6 daily tasks and completing 4 tasks will reward you with 500 hourglass. This can increase to 2000 hourglass daily if you've unlocked all the nodes that increase hourglass rewards from daily adventure tasks. Third, we have completing mini games. Talk to Tristan NPC found here and choose Tristan's invitation to access the free mini games. Completing each mini game the first time gives 500 R glass. There are 10 stages for each mini game, and first clear for each stage grants the following rewards. The goal is to get to at least level 7 as it will give 1500 R glass. Each player can only do the mini game up to 5 times daily. The first mini game is Monster Photography. Various monsters will appear around you and you need to take a picture of the required number of monsters before the time runs out. This will test if you can control the angle of the camera so that only the required number of monsters appear in the photo. Don't worry if other monsters not involved in the requirements appear in the photo as they will not be counted. If both requirements are less than or equal to zero, you should take a photo with no monster in it. I advise removing your mount, pet, and kitty cat so that they will not block your view. The next mini game is a simple card matching game where you need to match all cards on the screen into pairs before the time runs out. For the first few stages, you just need to match similar card faces but as you go higher, you will need to also match the card face with the card back or the card effects. Successful matching will be rewarded with additional 3 seconds to the timer while wrong matching will be punished with a 3 second penalty to the timer. For the last mini game, we have Monster Quiz. Various monsters will appear around you and need to count how many monsters satisfy the requirements before the time runs out. Questions include determining how many of the monsters satisfy the specific requirements such as color, element, race, or even the number of feet. Fourth, we have the farming of elite monsters which are marked with this symbol in the mini-map. There are 20 elite monsters you'll find in Wasteland and Moonlight Grotta, some of which have special methods of summoning. Most of these monsters have high HP or have an HP shield similar to mini so you cannot one-hit kill them with burst damage. They have immunity to abnormal status and also have special skills you need to take note of. Killing each elite monster the first time will grant 500 hourglass. So after you've killed all 20 elite monsters the first time, you'll gain 10,000 hourglass. After that, killing them will not grant any hourglass. However, you still need to kill elite monsters every day to get the Infernal Mobs Reward Chest, which grants 30 to 60 Ancient Remains, 4 to 6 Dust in Wilderness, and 20,000 Zenny. There's a maximum limit of 5 chests per day and the drop rate is affected by combat time. Aside from chests, elite monsters also drop Yggdrasil Spirit upgrade materials, 
blueprints for strange treasures like the smoky phonograph, and wasteland home reputation. Fifth, we have completing the side quests which are found all over Wasteland. Just follow the green quest markers to complete the missions and get various rewards such as Hourglass, upgrade materials, and headwear. However, there are some quests which are not straightforward such as the following. First is the Forest Robber quest which asks you for a weapon that kids can use. You can obtain the weapon by unlocking the Wild Blade node. Once crafted, just submit it to the NPC to complete the quest. Another one is the Fall of Barren Land quest which asks for the Parasite's Raindrop item. Before you can collect this item, you need to change first the weather terrain using the Ice Dragon Divine column found here. Then you need to get the Depression Rain Cloud either from the Magic Treasure building here or from an Elite Monster Drop. This will unlock the Rain Prayer Doll skill, which you need to use on Elite Highland Parasite. The Shiny Parasite's Raindrop will drop beside her. Just pick it up and then submit to Rutin NPC to complete the quest. Six and last, we have Collection of Treasure Chests. These chests are scattered randomly all over the map and give Wasteland materials. The location of these chests are the same for all channels and will reset every 12 hours at 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. server time. To help you find the location of the chest, you may unlock the Hawkeye node in the Spirit Tree. You can then craft and use the Hawkeye item to reveal the location of all chests. Just take a screenshot of the map and go to each location. You can do this even if you already have red combat time. Don't worry about other players stealing the chest as you'll be the only one who can see it. But there's no limit to the amount of treasure chests you can collect. Alright, so far we've gone through the Wasteland map gameplay in Episode 7 along with the new Yggdrasil Spirit Growth System. I hope this video was helpful in explaining how to get Hourglass more effectively. Alright, that's it for this video guys. Don't forget to like if you enjoyed watching this guide. If you're new here, I would love for you to consider subscribing by hitting the red subscribe button down below. I would love to have you back. Thank you for watching and see you in our next episode.